How are we all doing today? Rich here with you Complete Guitar 2, bringing you the Black Keys. I got mine. Uh, I think the Black Keys are probably the best band for a beginner guitarist. Uh, I can think about five different songs that can easily be played by beginners, and they're awesome. Catchy riffs, catchy tunes, catchy rhythms, and they're quite simple. So, uh, look into that. This is my first Black Keys song, but uh, not going to be my last, because I, I like the, the fact that Everybody can learn it and everybody can play. So we're going to start out with the, the riff, uh, the intro, going into the first verse, and then I'm going to show you the chorus. And it's basically the same thing throughout the whole song, uh, with the exception of the uh, solo, which is not going to be in this lesson, but good enough request for it, I'll certainly play it. So what we're starting off here is a B bar chord for the intro, okay? And then he works his way down the whole way. So the intro will sound like this. Okay, and what that is, is you got a B bar chord. So you got your six, your all six strings on the seventh fret. You got the G string on the eighth fret. Then the A and D string on the ninth fret. All right, this is a B bar chord, B major bar chord. Okay, so you go one, sustain it, and then you hit it again, and go to an A flat, to an A, right away. So once, sustain, then hit it again on the B. A flat, A, sustain the A, then you hit the A again, then you go right to the G sharp, and then the G, all right, and then you just do F sharp by itself, and then F, okay? And that'll bring us to, all right, to our main riff. So, what we have for the main riff is gonna be an open E string, okay? This is E standard, so your E string is open here. So, it looked like this. start over again so it's all right so what we do is open E string then to 7th fret A string 5th fret A string to 7th fret A string and then open E string again so and then again 7th to fifth to seventh on the A string. Okay, down to the D string. All right, so. Okay, then once you go down to the D string, go. D string, fifth fret, seventh fret, D string, back to fifth fret, D string, and then A string twice, and then open E, and then you start over. So it's the only that's that's the trickiest part in this whole song right there. It's coming back and hitting the A string twice and going right back to the open E string and, and starting all over again. So uh, that's it's very hard. It's very quick. It's the rhythm of it. So. So then you go again, after you do the open A string twice and you do the open E string, you go, do it all over again. And then once you get here, rather than going down to the D string, you go third fret, third fret E string, fifth fret E string, the third fret E string. And then you start it all over again, all right? So one complete riff will sound like this. start all over again all right so we'll call that one full riff okay that's what we're gonna call that right there once you go over to here that, that completes your one riff so we're gonna say the first two times you do that full, all, all the way through you have an open E string all right the second or the third and fourth time will be muting the E string and the E string only but everything else is the same all right, so when you mute it, it will sound like this. You just have to lightly leave your finger like this in the back, so you're just touching the E string. All right, but everything else is not muted. So you gotta be careful. So it'll be like this. Okay, 
right? So just slightly mute it, all right, on the E string for the, the second, the third and fourth time you do this riff. Now on the fifth and sixth time you do this, E string is still muted. The only thing is, is you're gonna end up going just with this ending on the fifth and third, rather than doing rather than doing three, five, three on the E string, you just do five and three. All right, and that's gonna be like that all the way up until you get to the chorus. So right. what that's gonna sound like is this. Alright, so everything, open E string the first two times you do this, then the third and fourth time you do uh, muted E string, but everything's the same. Then the fifth and sixth time you do this, you just do five, three to end it, okay? Then the seventh time you do the same thing, five, three to end it. Alright, now the eighth time, the last riff you do this before you're going into the chorus will be like this. Uh, it's not no more mute anymore. So just open open the E string. Okay, and twice on the A string seventh, and then do it again. Open the E string, and then you repeat that, and you actually do go through it again. Rather than going over here, you're doing it twice again on the A string. So the last time you play this before going to the chorus, it'll be like this. your chorus so I actually do that twice I actually come down to the D string twice and then end on the twice on the A string seventh fret and go into my chorus all right so this whole riff is played eight times all right first and second time open E string and like that third and fourth time just muted E string muted open E string and like that fifth and sixth and seventh time muted E string and you end fifth and third okay on the fifth sixth and seventh time and then the eighth time you're back to open E string no mute and you don't come down to the fifth the E string at all here you do open E string twice on the A string and then you come down all right so your chorus is done four times there and what we're going to do is open E string okay open E string okay then we're going to do an E7 chord which is second fret on the A string First fret on the G string, open E, second fret A, open D string, first fret G, and then open B, open E. That's your E7 chord. Okay? So if you open E string, E7 chord, okay, to a third fret E string. Then you're gonna do the D, G, and B string open twice. Okay, D, G, and B open strings. Hit it twice. To an open A string. To an A chord. No E string. So you're just gonna be open A string, second fret D, second fret G, and second fret B. On the second fret. Okay? A string. And then you're going to take your third finger, drop it down on the E string of the third fret, and do a quarter bend. Okay, so it will sound like this. And that's your chorus. Four times you do that. Alright, so going from the seventh and the eighth riff, okay, <clears throat> into the chorus. This is what we got. So the eighth one, right, is, or seventh one is muted, all right, with just the two on the A, and then the eighth one is fully open but ending on the seventh here, so it's.
starts to riff all over again. All right, guys, it's the, the Black Keys. I got mine. Um, my first Black Keys lessons, but not the last. Like I said, this is a great, great, great band. Uh, great songs to learn for beginners. And just it's just great riffs, great runs, great rhythms uh, for all guitar players. But um, you definitely can accomplish something uh, as a beginner with these songs. So look out for more lessons, guys. All right, this is Rich. You can play guitar too. Weekly lessons every Wednesday, every Sunday, guys. So please subscribe.